Husqvarna TC125 2023. It's a new fuel injection bike. I'm going to take this one out for a quick test ride and see what I think. Let's gear up. Let's go do it. The TC125 test ride is done. I didn't really ride this bike as fast as I could. It's just not my bike, and I'm real particular if the bike's not really set up for me, or if I don't 100% jive with it right out the box. It takes me a little while to get used to a different bike, but it still doesn't stop me from getting a good feel about how the bike feels, so I can uh, hopefully relay that to you guys. Uh, first, I want to say, when, when I watched a lot of the other magazine reviews on this bike, they mentioned that um, it was kind of weird with the rev limiter. When you hit the rev limiter on it, um, it felt like a 250F, like it came in too soon or whatever. I didn't notice that at all, personally, and I do rev my bike. It seems like, I mean, I rev 125 out hard, but it seems like the rev limiter on this one is properly set. I mean, that's, that's my opinion. You know, they have theirs, and, but that's what I'm noticing. Um, overall power. Um... Well, I would say they, they definitely probably have gone down on power since the carbureted models. I, I, I can feel that. I've ridden the KTM and the TC125 carbureted, carbureted models stock before. And uh, this one is probably at the same level of like the 05 to 2021 YZ125 in bone stock condition. That's how it feels on the track at least. Now, I, I do know that, you know, on the dyno, they'll show more. Uh, and what I mean by stock condition of the YZ125 is, if you look at the brand new YZ, or 2021 20, YZ125, you'll notice the siner, silencer is like freaking three feet tall, and the air filter, stock filter is like that thick. But once you get rid of the stock filter and you put on a, a like a shorty silencer or whatever, um, the YZ125, in my opinion, has always been right there with the KTMs. It's just out the showroom floor. They come with a silencer that's ridiculously long and a filter that's really thick and restrictive. But you get rid of them two things, and in my opinion, they've always been right there with the, with the KTMs. So that's what I'm comparing this to is a 05 to 2021 YZ125. After you get rid of the long silencer and the air filter, they're about equal. So that's where it's at in the power department. Um, the gear spacing is pretty tight. That's one thing I did notice. Each gear, it's definitely a close ratio gearbox. Each, each gear is very close together. So uh, you're going to shift a little more kind of going down the straights. It's just how it is. It can be a good thing. It can be a bad thing depending on what course you're on or how you like to ride your bike. 
and just like the uh, the TC250 that I reviewed, the fuel injection, um, when, initial st when you first start the bike and you roll into the throttle, it can feel a little soft, and uh, but once you get on the bike, it once you get on the track, it's got a good a good hit to it and good pull. Um, no real flat spots in the motor. Um, the suspension is pretty good on it. It's a, it feels versus the YZs, it feels a little bit initially firm at the top end of the stroke, like when it's fully extended, like when your wheels first touch touch down on a landing. It, it's a little bit more rigid right there, but not a bad rigidness, just a, but a little more rigid. But the rest of the stroke is nice and smooth and got good suspension front and rear, good compliant frame. It's a good bike. You know, they definitely I know they're trying to work out the fuel injection system on these bikes and everything and they'll get they'll get they'll get better, but it's not bad. It's better than I thought it would be. So thanks for watching guys.